This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is President and CEO of Millrock Resources, Mr. Greg Beicher. Greg, how are you this morning, Alaska time? Well, very well, Gerardo. Yeah, nice, bright, sunny day here in Anchorage, and our field teams are uh, out uh, starting up uh, at the Alaska Range Project. So, season uh, exploration season's in full swing all of a sudden. Well, I'm a, I'm a Chicago kid at heart. I spent my childhood there, but I also lived in Anchorage, Alaska for 17 years. And you know, as I know, that when you get a sunny day, you got to take full advantage of it. You bet. So listen, we had some news here recently. You announced yesterday that Polar X is now drilling on the Zachley Copper Gold Deposit, which is, of course, in the Alaska Range there in Alaska. And it's a big deal to Millrock because you own 9.76% of the issued and outstanding shares of Polar X. Can we talk about their initial program and what that's going to look like this year? You bet. Yeah, we were really pleased that uh, Polar X is, was able to raise a, a good amount of money and, and what's a, you know, a pretty soft uh, market. Uh, but uh, they, they were successful. I think they may, in fact, raise substantially more as the field season progresses, in which case we'd expand the, uh, the program that's uh, going on right now. And, yeah, it's important for Millrock because uh, we are a big shareholder of Polar X. We're entitled to certain uh, milestone payments uh, as the project moves along. And uh, if there's a, a big deposit there, uh, we have a substantial royalty that w- would pay us very well. And in the meantime, though, it's a good partnership. Uh, Millrock is the operator of the exploration. We work closely with the Polar X uh, technical team and um and but we're executing uh, the 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 work and uh we generate some revenue uh, in the form of management fees uh, for for doing so so all together it's uh, you know just a great partnership that benefits millrock and its shareholders and exposes shareholders to the possibility that we make that big uh, discovery that uh, will make a major share price increase so the, the current program is uh, 23 holes uh, designed to expand upon uh, the resource, uh, the high-grade copper gold scarn resource uh, that was uh, announced uh, earlier this year. So this was a historic uh, deposit. Um, the work, uh, the drilling that we did with uh, Polar X last year confirmed uh, the resource. It's pretty good, 41,000 tons, uh, metric tons of copper and, and uh, over 200,000 ounces of gold and 1.5 million ounces of silver. And if this drilling program is successful, it has the potential to uh, substantially increase that metal resource. So uh, we're off to the races. Uh, we're mobilizing as we speak. It'll probably be another 10 days before the uh, drills are actually spinning, two drills, and uh, potentially more to be added as uh, the season unfolds. So it's uh, that very exciting time in any exploration project when we're, we're out there uh, about to mount the next drill campaign. Now, Greg, I understand that in addition to the existing mineralization and the extensions that are believed to be there, there's also the potential for a porphyry copper gold system. Is that, is that accurate? You bet. Yeah. You know, that's what uh, initially attracted Millrock to the area. We're on the hunt for something like another uh, pebble deposit, uh, something that's got some really serious uh, potential. Um, Not that the the Zachley Scarn isn't uh, a great target. Uh, It could uh, very well uh, be uh, a deposit that, that, that's uh, got the size and, and uh, metal content to, to mine. Uh, but, uh, of course, Alaska's got that potential for the, the giant uh, discovery. Uh, scarns are often found near uh, porphyry deposits. Uh, we've got uh, geophysical and geochemical uh, uh, parameters that tell us there, there is uh, porphyry deposits potentially nearby. Uh, we've got porphyritic rocks uh, in close association with that scarn. Maybe it's just right below the scarn. We don't know yet, but we're uh, sure, uh, hopeful that we'll get the opportunity to drill some of those targets as well. That'll depend on further fundraising by Polar X, but um, <clears throat> uh, that's the goal. Uh, that, that's the ultimate goal is to make a giant discovery of a porphyry copper gold. 
Now, switching gears a little bit from Alaska to Mexico, you're drilling the La Navidad project, which, of course, you're also searching for extensions of, of the known mineralization, but you're, you're, you're looking for potentially new discoveries there. How is that coming along, Greg? Yep, everything's uh, going along fine. The uh, program's in full swing. I think we're on our fourth hole of the program. And uh, there's, uh, I can, I, I know the geologists uh, have seen some altered uh, zones that uh, should be mineralized with gold. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, it'll probably be uh, at least uh, a month away before we're in a position to make any announcements about uh, those drilling results. But the program's in full swing and uh, moving ahead very well. Well, as always, Greg, I look forward to having you back on when we start getting some of those results. I will be at the 121 Mining Investment Conference on June the 5th and June the 6th in New York City. I understand, and it was brought to my attention by you, that Polar X's team, which I understand to be a very excellent technical team and partner, will also be there. So I'm looking forward to meeting and chatting with them. If any of you are in the area, please stop by and say hello to both Polar X and myself. Greg, anything else that you'd like to add? Uh, you know, just uh, that uh, we, we have really enjoyed our uh, relationship with uh, Polar X. Uh, they, they are strong technically. They're, uh, um, you know, they do what they say they're going to do. And, uh, and, and so being a, a great partner, they're a company listed on the Australian Stock Exchange. Uh, PXX on the ASX is a symbol. And uh, uh, some of your investors uh, may wish to, to take a look at that stock as an investment. Excellent. Greg, thank you so much for your time. We'll chat soon. Okay. All the best, Gerardo. Talk to you next week, probably. Will do.